Hey Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome to your weekly read. We are going to do a weekly read for you here. I'm going to put this aside for a minute. But I want to actually choose a card for your overarching theme. And this is going to reflect the different spreads that we'll do today. Uh, I'm going to be focusing in for this weekly read uh, what Spirit wants you to know, career, money, finance, and then we'll exit out with love, okay? So what does Aries need to know most? Uh, let's take a look at what your overarching theme uh, is going to be as it reflects uh, all the rest of the spreads. Okay, that's it. We'll take that. And keep in mind, guys, I've been focusing in. I've got two uh, businesses that I run, and I try to get this done as uh, with that uh, and be able to connect with you as well. So uh, I'm focusing in on more of like a, a psychological practice in wellness and in healing. Uh, and I do a lot of content creation in that with a lot of other, a uh, few other industries. Uh, and then I focus in on my spiritual side and in, in, uh, over here uh, as well. So in any event, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. What do we have here for uh, you, Aries? Do I know all my strengths and, and I, am I using them? Are you using all your strengths? All right. So what this card talks about is that we all have superpowers, right? But it is up to us to uncover them. And when we live and when we lead with our strengths, then we're able to actually show up in the zone, our own zone of genius, right? And this inspires others, what? To do the same, okay? So how can you use your soul's gift today to contribute uh, to this open and ready world? So something about that you, uh, do you know your strengths? Maybe you need to start listing them down. These are those things that people say about you all a lot in terms of, oh, you're always so good at this, Aries. You know, it's those types of things to kind of really remember that, right? Are you using all of them to the best of your ability? Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pull a card to give you any sort of insight or heads up. Uh, any clarifications on this uh, spirit that you want to give Aries regarding this uh, that's going to help them? What do we get here? Ah, change. Uh, maybe a gift of being able to change and transform. For some of you, you've got a gift in terms of being able to change and transform in some sort of way. Maybe you're changing to use your gifts at this point, okay? And uh, being in gratitude for some sort of change that you're going through. Maybe that you're being enlightened about this and you decided, hey, I'm going to use my strengths, all right? I'm going to start using them now in the work that I do. I haven't been paying attention to them or I've been actually putting them on the back burner, but now it's time. And there's a transformation that you're in deep gratitude from. There is gratitude of a, some sort of change and now you're using your strengths in some sort of way. So let's see how this is going to apply to the rest of your read, starting with your career, money, and finance. So, well, excuse me, starting with what spirit wants you to know then career, money, finance, and then we exit out with love. Okay. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So you could be getting a message coming through. Okay. Uh, a message coming through is a page of pentacles. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, we'll see how this applies. Uh, whoa. Caught that. Okay. And then give me another card. Uh, anything more? Wow. These two came out together. So I'm going to take them both together. All right. So let's break it down and see what we've got here. Now, this is tarot and other cards mixed together, too. Um, so this is the page of pentacles. You could be getting a message from again, a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Uh, this is an opportunity, uh, to, uh, some sort of message. It could be as it pertains to the three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. So some of you, it's music. Uh, I do get a lot of music coming through here. Um, yeah, it could be something about birthing something new in this world. All right. Uh, it could be hidden at this moment. But there could be a message that's coming through. Give me more on this on what this comes through. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Something that was very slow moving, but it's an opportunity. Uh, yeah, this is about to get out of... Um, it's like um, it's an opportunity to get, uh, you know, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? If you have a high priestess, she taps in into her, her intuition. Uh, the not so high priestess is not tap, you know, tapping into intuition and focusing in on, uh, you know, um, you know, a little bit more of the materialism of some of the sort. So are you not tapping into your intuition? You could be getting a message from someone. Uh, now this could be from a Gemini Libra Aquarius, uh, uh, and it's about some sort of message, but this person might not be as tapped in and tuned in. Okay. I'm just saying, 
uh, because that's what I feel that's coming through. What more do you want to tell us about this? Uh, about this, what do we get? I do get, it could be a telephone call or a text coming through, okay? Telephone call or some sort of text. Uh, and it is about the, uh, uh, the five of wands, uh, excuse me, six of wands, about some sort of success. Someone coming in, they're, they're, uh, I don't know, it's something about a zebra. Huh. All right. And the chosen one. They see you as light. They see you as the light. They see you as the chosen one with success. But this person is focused on the not so high priestess. All right. The knight of swords. Um, movement, fast movement forward, moving too fast. Now, if you're taking on all this energy here, Aries, are you moving too fast towards materialism that you're not focusing in on your light and of your abilities? Again, using your strengths. Some of you, it's music. This is about uh, you, you've been chosen to bring light into this world. And so this is victory and success, um, you know, that's coming through. Uh, but uh, it could be that you don't want to move so fast and be opinionated so much into the materialism side. Watch that in some sort of way. Okay, let's go ahead and, and, and focus a little bit more on this. Let me pull some tarot and see what comes through on this. So this 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 movement forward, uh, you know, not being in your in a high priestess energy. What do we need to know about that? Again, it's the Knight of Swords. This is the same thing. The Knight of Swords confirmed by the knight of swords in a different deck you could be hearing from a gemini libra aquarius now if you have uh you know aquarius in your gemini libra aquarius in your chart uh that's something to think about something about materialism focused on materialism okay a message coming through what about what is this uh what is this message coming through this page of pentacles it's about moving forward and taking action all right uh and then i get the queen of pentacles uh, a motherly figure moving forward and taking action, a motherly figure uh, to brings in balance uh, to the home. You could be getting a message. Now, this is a separate message than this. I feel that there's some sort of movement forward that just is just telling you from spirit, don't focus on the materialism, focus in on the light and the success of your light. Don't focus on the materialism, okay? Okay, it, it, because uh, th this is what's going to bring in, it, it, in, especially in teamwork and collaboration with others. For some reason, it's coming through, okay? Whatever that might be, in, in some sort of creativity. This over here is a message coming through. It could be from a motherly figure about a home and about taking action and moving forward and having faith, all right, uh, to bring in balance. So it could be some sort of celebration. Uh, there could be a get-together, uh, a message coming through. Okay, uh, conflict before, uh, you know, but it's about some sort of fairness now, having a keen sense of perception about fairness. And so now you're going to be able to depict that. This is quite interesting, guys. Wow. Interesting. Um, anything more that we need to know what spirit wants you to know? Anything else? You're breaking out of an old way of thinking. You're focusing in on your craft and specializing in on it. And you're developing and creating a strong, solid foundation. Here you are, Aries energy, Emperor energy. You are focused on your work right now, and you're breaking out of an old way of thinking. This is what I'm getting. So it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, this is what I'm getting. What do you need to know about this? Uh, anything more that you need to know about this uh, that wants to come through? What do we get? this situation will improve. So if there's something that you're working on and you're, you're, you're breaking out of the old and trying to focus on a strong, solid foundation, remember, focusing in on the light, okay, is what's coming through. It's like, again, the chosen one. You have been chosen to focus in on the light and that's what's going to bring in a lot of success with the, uh, the, the seven. Uh, it, it's kind of like it brings in a lot of success um, with the six of wands. A lot of success uh, accolades. All right. Someone might be, uh, yeah, I just kind of feel that that's the case. The situation is going to improve. What else do you need to know? All right. What else do you need to know is, uh, what, what know about what, uh, it doesn't want you to focus on romance right now. It wants you to focus in on your foundation guys. I'm okay. Don't, don't, uh, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Uh, it is about, your health is improving and you're developing a strong, solid foundation. This is what I'm getting. 
Uh, if someone comes in, uh, you know, on romance, it could be that they might be focused more on material gain than anything. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. Let's go ahead and focus in on career, money, finance, and we will see what comes up. Okay, uh, so let's find out what that is. Again, it's a, being in gratitude for a transformation that you made is allowing you to make better choices. That was a message from Spirit. Let's find out what uh, career, money, finance comes through for Aries. Career, money, and finance for Aries. Uh, what uh, wants to come through for that? Uh, career, money, and finance for Aries. What do we get for Aries? What is this? What is this? Too many cards flipped. So I'm going to wait until I get, uh, give me um, some jumpers here, uh, Spirit, please. Career, money, and finance. Thank you. Um, give me two more. Uh, career, money, and finance uh, for Aries. What is the messages that want to come through for career, money, and finance for Aries? Okay, let's take a look what we've got here. Career, money, finance for Aries. What do we get? So I want you to, you're being asked to take some inspired action. You've gone through a lot of reflection through your transformation, okay? Re reflection of the past, all right? Reflection of all of the past in life, of the work that you've done, the effort and time you put into something. You are reflecting on that, and then it's all about taking inspired action you've been enlightened in some sort of way i think it has a lot to do being in gratitude for this transformation because this change and enlightenment have the same colors in it and i feel that there that you've been with through this change you're in gratitude for the enlightenment so it's about what you you are being asked to reflect and then take inspired action based upon the enlightenment that you've received okay so in your career, money, and finance is what it's the saying. Give me more on this. What do we get? All right. So, you know, it's like, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, this is beautiful. What do we get? Yep, you're being asked. Okay, so this is talking about, like, whatever reflection that you did on the subconscious mind, it's been enlightened, okay? It kind of goes from the gray in the fog to the light. So if it was like a iceberg, the, the top of the, of the iceberg, it's kind of like what was below the iceberg, you know, is, is that subconscious part. It's about taking steps to overcome and see the light in the subconscious. So something's come to light in the subconscious. You sp you, you've been spending a lot of time in solitude, and now it's about ready to... <coughs> Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. You guys, it was the weirdest thing. I'm going to share this with you, okay? Because... What came down off my wall was a picture that fell. It didn't break, but this ha must have meaning. I mean, I kept saying, take inspired action after solitude, something about the subconscious and reflection. This is the picture that fell off my wall. It might have to do with music. It might have to do create your own song. It might be about something that you've been carrying on your back is to write music on that. Um, this is so beautiful. It's one of my favorite pictures and it fell out when I was taking, you've been in solitude. It's about taking inspired action. So something about this, I'm going to leave this as is because this is so interesting. Note your comments, guys. Let me know if that was something that might resonate with you because what music maybe brought some sort of enlightenment. And then I get the King of Cups balancing out emotions. So for some of you, it could be writing music, it could be playing music, it could be producing music, it could be listening to music. It could be about creating your own music in life. Am I using my, all my strengths? Something to do with that, guys. Uh, and maybe music has been a big transformative uh, thing in your life. Why did, this, uh, why did this come out in Aries Reads? This is interesting, guys. We're going to go with this, okay? Why did this come out in Aries Reads? What does Aries need to know uh, as to why this opportune moment happened? What do we get? What do we get? Balancing things out. Wow. This is about after feeling left out. This is about there could be a business owner that comes in, wants to balance things out, and this brings in wealth, legacy, and everything. Ooh, you guys. 
this is all in your career, money, and finance. Some of you are going to, it could be some sort of business owner that comes through and wants to balance something out. And uh, this is about coming together in family, union, and legacy. This is so interesting. I got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So whatever it is, it's something that's going to help you out. Maybe that someone's going to finance you in some sort of way towards what it is that you love in your music. Uh, maybe that you're helping someone else out. It has to do with legacy. Uh, and the King of Pentacles is a boss, some sort of business owner that's going to balance something out. I just feel that it has something to do with overcoming the past and being able to to propel take that energy and propel it into something creative or unique and someone sees that and they're going to invest in you okay guys all right this is it was prominent uh anything you need to know about this anything further wow i, I just had to share this what do we get get more information on your recovery okay and what else and what do i get no need to worry if you've been worrying about like your career, money, and finance, get more information is what's coming through here. Uh, and again, it's about recovering, connecting to the light. There's no need to worry. There's some sort of victory. Ooh, interesting, guys. Yeah, I think that you're overcoming something. Could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is what I'm getting. Oh, my gosh, this is interesting. So we'll put this aside. Wow. And then let's go ahead and take a look at your uh love life and see what comes through wow that's really crazy guys note your comments i'd be interested to know man so interesting hmm you get an opportunity from a business owner uh that uh wants to balance something now and this could be a job situation or this could be someone that's financing you or someone that's going to invest in you uh or a partnership of some sort okay um, let's take a look. Uh, no need to worry. Keep pushing forward on what it is that you love to do and make sure you're using all your strengths. All right. Continue to do that. Okay. Something about it's all because you went through this transition that brought you here. But let's take a look at what is coming through in love. Anything for love for areas that is important for areas this particular week. Uh, Spirit, any uh, information on areas regarding love that you want them to know? Okay. Let's see. Uh, and give me one more regarding love. Okay, that flipped over. We'll take, you got how many? Oh my gosh, it's too many. I'm going to take the first one that flipped over. Um, unless this tells some sort of story here really quick. I mean, I'll look at that real quick just for, uh, just for, to get an idea. What do we get here? Queen of Swords being fair, keen, perceptive in the mind about some sort of promise. Uh, maybe there has been a promise that has been made, all right? could be a music deal or something. I don't know, you guys. I don't know why this is coming through. Uh, or this could be a promise that was made, all right? And this is about developing a strategy surrounding that, having foresight about that. And um, I get the sun card, having foresight, new vitality, passion. I can't show you that card. Passion with the king of swords and balancing something out. Okay. So there could be a balancing of something out with the King of Swords here, okay? Um, and that could be the case, temperance, Sagittarius energy. I get passion between this. There's a lot of passion to balance something out. And uh, this, this uh, sun card coming through here is all about new revitalization. This is all super positive and having a keen sense of, of foresight. So you, the, I get Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. You could be taking on that Queen of Swords energy, be very keen and perceptive about the promise. Maybe someone promised you something before and didn't fall through and now comes through and balances something out. This is what it seems to be coming through. And we can look at what's at the bottom of the deck after feeling left out in some sort of way. Oh, interesting. Maybe you speak through music. Uh, I don't know. This is coming through. Anything more that comes through uh, for Aries? What else do we get for Aries? Uh, then what? Then what's coming through? There it comes through again. The three of wands coming through again. After what? An obstacle, after a conflict. And transitioning for, and, and, and now having foresight about some sort of transitioning to calmer waters after having, and now having foresight about the conflict. So it's kind of like there's a balancing out between you and another person here, okay? Air, fire, uh, and I do get, uh, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, fire and... Uh, and earth too, persevering. Someone's going to want to persevere. 
Uh, and uh, some of you might be uh, focusing in on walking away. Whatever it is, their justice wants to come in. Temperance wants to come in, okay? Libra energy is coming through. Balance being made. Justice will be served. For some of you, justice will be served in some sort of way it coming through in love. Anything about uh, sing singles? Singles want you to passionately moving forward. Go slowly in a connection. And this is about, an, and especially when offering your love to someone. There is an opportunity that's coming through. And I do get earth energy as well as fire, okay? Uh, for those coupled, um, you've got some choices to make. This is all about focusing in on, for those that are coupled, this is about getting out there uh, with others. And uh, it's going to bring forth a lot more passion uh, in your relationship. Um, it's going to, uh, yeah, I think it's all about maybe let get support from friends uh, as well regarding a passionate connection and use your intuition in making some sort of choice. So if you've got a choice to be made in terms of a connection with another person you're currently involved with, uh, this is about networking with others or getting together with others so you could actually see the bigger picture of the situation and, and see the enlightenment of it, that they could probably help you. Now, those are those, those are those people who have your back, all right? Uh, and then it, it brings in new passion. They're helping you see something from a different perspective and allow you to go within, and then you're able to make a better decision on something that comes through. What do you need to know about this decision for those that are coupled? It's gonna, it's in the near future, okay? So you might have a decision to be made. For those single with this opportunity coming into play, what do we get? Gosh, a big happy changes. So it looks like a win-win either way, guys. For those of you who are seeing, you've got an opportunity coming in. It could be a change of someone that you had maybe had an obstacle with in the past. Um, and maybe it wasn't the right time before. But there is, for those of you that are, are coupled, there are uh, helpful people around to help you kind of see something from a different perspective about a, a, a decision that you're at a crossroads that you're ready to make. Uh, and it's going it, to, they're going to help you actually here. It's, it's really positive. So I'm going to leave it there. If you're looking for a personal read, guys, click the link in the description box below. Uh, and if not, I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.